channel. My name is Faith. I'm an HR professional and event host based in Toronto, Canada. If this is your first time here, thank you for stopping by. Please make sure you use that subscribe button. Yes, that one, the red one down below. Mm -hmm. Please use it and also click on the notification bell. So when I post a new video, you will be the first to know. And if you're a returning viewer, you're a rock star. That's all. End of story. So today's video is all about my G2 test here in Canada, my drive test. If you haven't watched my G1 test, please, please hurry down. I'm going to link it up here. That was like, the video was, <laughs> I don't know. It just, it, it was, it was a good video. That's all I can say. So please watch that. Um, and then you can come here and watch this one. So I'm going to be showing you my practice test. I'll show you. Uh, my the instructor I use, I would also show you the actual test day. Yes. <laughs> so stay tuned for all of that. Let me not talk too much. Canada at Kipling and Dixon. This is where I'm meeting my driving instructor, Mr. Harry. Well, he said I should not call him Mr. But you know, the Nigerian in me cannot, it's my brain is still, <laughs> but I'll try my best to call him Harry. So, yes, yeah, this is where I'm meeting Harry in a couple of minutes. Um, my classes will be starting at 12 30. Today is a Sunday. So, yes, I just got back from church and I had to just start hurrying down. So that's I won't be late because you know, in Canada, time is money. So yes, I'm a little nervous, just a little because, you know, no matter what, even if you have all the experience from your home country, there's just that whole, you cannot use the knowledge of your own country to come and use it in Canada driving. You need to just, <laughs> you need to just relax and try to learn their own style because a lot of things are especially depending on, on on the country that you're coming from so for today I don't know how they say that thing in um it's in philosophy I can't remember anyway I'm um, tabula rasa as in, I'm a tabula rasa I think it means clean slates please correct me if I'm wrong but that's what I I was trying to remember my philosophy class anyway so today I'm a clean slate just ready to absorb everything that he's going to teach me and you know I will do my best to obviously take down all the notes so that I can give you hints as to things that you should look out for if you're going to write the G test or the G2 test so I'm going to do my best to note all those things even if you're going to take classes eventually this will ultimately help you as you prepare to take your classes and ultimately the test so guys I will see Mr. Harry in a bit oh, Harry Harry I will see <laughs> Harry in a bit let's go <laughs> lesson <laughs> I'm not I don't know I, I don't think I did so well honestly <laughs> I'm sure I didn't do well but anyway I want to show you my instructor I mean he's a fantastic guy like you guys should totally use him okay he's amazing his patience is another level that's why I did not use my husband because I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure by now would have <laughs> anyway so yeah um, let me show you my instructor uh, so this is Harry Hi guys. Hi. Hi. So, how do you think I did? <laughs> You're doing overall very well, but uh, just small little things here and there, like standing back in part, you were having slight difficulty. Oh God. <laughs> and you did it for the first time today with me. Um, but uh, I hope uh, next time when I see you, uh, you'll be doing perfectly fine in there. I hope so. <laughs> and, uh, the parking did well. Okay. And, and uh, no, only 
try avoiding drivers here and like try to move the car mm -hmm. and turn the gear at the same time. Don't hold the brake down and keep turning the gear. Mm -hmm. So that way it can cause um, you know some point loss in the road test too. Uh, plus uh, you're gonna cause some uh, wear and tear on your tires oh, and okay. the suspension system. Mm -hmm. So just the uh, rest of that you have control of car, right? Follow the speed limit. Okay. And uh, we are ready for the test soon. Oh, soon. I'm, oh. I'm going to book the test for you soon. Okay, cool. <laughs> Thank you so much, Harry. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Say bye to my followers. Okay. Bye. Yeah, so that was my instructor. <laughs> As you can see, invariably, Moti Bodo, that's exactly what he's trying to say. If this was the test, zero in my class. As in, for my non Nigerian subscribers, it means that I would have failed the test if this were the actual test. But hey, thank God this is practice. But yes, he's he's amazing, and um, I'm gonna link. Uh, I think I would try and link his um, phone number in the description box so that if you guys, if you are in uh, which areas, um, Harry, which areas do you cover? Well, I mostly cover. Um uh, let us say up to Yon Street okay. and uh, on the south I go up to Eglinton okay. and uh, North Steel Avenue mm -hmm. and the rest I can come up to uh, Highway 27. Okay, okay. Uh, and I, that's the area I cover. Okay. okay, sounds good. So guys, you had it. So <laughs> please make sure you use the services. I'll put his phone number and the description box. Don't worry, even if I fail, it won't be his fault. It would just be me. <laughs> it's just, I, it just means I'm a bad student because he's actually a good teacher. So, alright guys, I will see you later. Hey guys, so today is the day of my test and it's at 12.28. I'm heading to the drive test center now. <laughs> I'm nervous. But uh, well, we'll see how it goes. I've done my practice. Now is the time to go and be doing like an agama I'll be checking. <laughs> Because for drive test you have to, <laughs> you have to be looking everywhere and be turning your neck. If you, not, if, if you cannot do like an agama lizard, oh my, you don't fail. It. So anyway, well, I'll, I'll show you guys how it goes. But um, yeah, I've, I've done my best, practiced. But you never know how these things go, right? So heading there now. See you in a bit. I just finished my drive test and I'm just gonna share what the instructor told me to do and I'll also give you a few tips so when we got into the residential area he told me to do a three-point turn then I also did a parallel parking with a car that was parked on the road so for that one they'll be scoring you based on how you're able to reverse and not hit the curb and also you know um, how well you're able to park the car just make sure that whatever you do you can take your time but there's no need to rush but whatever you do just make sure that you don't hit the curb make sure you also you know do all the <laughs> left right looking for pedestrians and to see if a car is coming and then park well so that was really the test in general and some of the tips i will talk about is when you're driving on an idle road so when there's nothing to do like all those times where it's just a straight road just try and be looking you know look at your mirrors left up just feel comfortable don't don't panic and when you do a left turn as soon as you enter the road make sure that you hit the speed limit one and also trafficate to the farthest right lane like in the Mississauga um, route there's a road called Derry Road that has three different lanes right so when you do a left turn and enter into the road you kind of have to hit 70 <laughs> because that is the maximum and um, that's the minimum that's the minimum speed limit 70 and then you're also trafficating to the farthest route so i think that's where the challenge comes in hey if you can nail that part you'll be 
good. So practice your three-point turn, practice your reverse packing. I didn't do a reverse packing, but hey, practice it, you never know. Practice your parallel packing and just be swift in your movement, you know, just looking like feeling like a G. <laughs> That's how I was doing, even though my heart was doing kick up, kick up. <laughs> but I was just like, you know, you know. So yeah, but I, any other tips I remember, I will put in the description box. But yeah, I will show you, um, for those that will do the test in Mississauga, I will show you the route just to see how it looks, so that to give you an idea of what you might be looking out for. So guys, that's it from me. You can see what we do for you guys. It's raining, but I'm here trying to give you all these tips so that you don't fail. So I just passed mine, guys. So hit the like button if you like this video, and um, you know what to do. Subscribe to my channel and also share. It's very important. Don't allow people say no. Please share this video with anyone who is interested. And guys, I will see you on my next video.
Try.